this lesson, we're going to be going over how we can use the pass keyword in our programs. And essentially the pass keyword is used just as a placeholder for code that we have not implemented yet. So if we create something such as weather and we say the weather is sunny, and then we decide to go ahead and create an if statement such as if weather is equal to sunny, but we don't really know what we want to happen yet, we can go ahead and insert pass. We can also type in L if weather is equal to rainy, and we still don't know what to insert, we can go ahead and add a pass. So it's just a placeholder, as you can see. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and type in there is no weather. So let's go ahead and change this to none. And when we run the program, it's going to say there is no weather. And if we change this to sunny, it's not going to print anything because we told the program that there's nothing to be put there, but it's not going to give us an error either because of course, if we leave this empty, the program will not be happy. We need to tell it that we know this is empty and that's the way to do it. And you can use pass wherever you would use normal code. So you can even do it in a while loop. You can go ahead and type in while true. We can type in pass. Although this is very dangerous because that's an infinite while loop that's going to block the program. And it's actually good that you catch on to this stuff because if we put it here, this will never ever be executed because this will loop forever. And that's also very similar to typing print hello. If we don't have an exit condition for this, nothing below it will ever be executed. So we're going to print 1 billion trillion or infinite hellos to the console until your computer crashes. As you can see right here, we printed a lot of hellos and that's because this went forever. So putting pass in something like this can be quite dangerous because you won't even notice it's going on forever. As you can see right here, you're going to think the program froze. But in all other scenarios, using pass is really nice because of course you can put it in places that require code. And later on in this course, we're going to be covering functions. So something that looks like this. And it's another great place that you can add pass. But we're actually going to be covering functions in the next lesson. So I'll see you guys there.